it seems like you guys are clicking though. Uh, kind of yeah, we just, we just clicking, you know, talking. Um, the communication is there. That's all we needed. You know, we know we can do it physically, but just mentally, just communicating with each other, being on the same page. You know, I think that's what you're seeing. Just us clicking, really. So that that allows us to just play fast and you know win. And this is, I think, especially for the secondary, like this is like y'all's third year all together, together, basically. Exactly. So, uh, like, how, how much has that kind of communication improved? I guess. There? Uh, improved a lot um, because you know last year we didn't know. We kept subbing up, subbing out guys like Crawley started, then PJ, then Crawley. Like, it was hard to get on page with everybody, but now you know we. Um, We've been we've been going with one group the whole time, so we we clicking now with Vaughn especially. Just him, he had to you know share his share roles with you know uh, who was it last year? Kurt Kurt Coleman last year. Then the year before it was uh, Kenny Vaccaro. So now he have he have time to get in there, get comfortable, and just make checks and calls. So I think he a big piece of. Um, like why we communicate so well. Yeah, he said like when you made right before you made that pick, he came over afterwards and was like, "I told you it was gonna come." No, no, I, I told him. Yeah, I told him. I see stuff too right. now, but I just told him I knew it was gonna be a stop route. But he, now he was telling me that the back was coming out quick, so that's what he was telling me. But I was telling him Mike route. So you know, we just communicate. I'm sure you guys have been talking about. Oh, you guys have been talking about starting the regular season fast. Do you feel like you guys are positioning yourself? On defense to be able to oh, start definitely. faster where you want definitely. to. Definitely, hopefully, hopefully you know it carry over to the real game. But these past two weeks, you know, we started uh, fast uh, with three and outs, turnovers, and in, in the preseason. So you know we wasn't doing that last year in the preseason. So this year, you know, I hope it just you know carry over to the uh, the regular season so we can start fast. Um, Eli hadn't been here for three years, but it almost feels like he's. I mean, he's we I've been with him the, the longest. Him and him and Vaughn. But, but, I mean, does it feel like he's as, as much a part of, like, the oh, chemistry yeah. you were just talking about as a guy? Definitely. Because, you know, me and Vaughn, um, Eli, we was all in school together. So, you know, he's going to be comfortable with us uh, more so than when he was with, you know, New York, not knowing anybody. You know, I know how that is, just not knowing nobody. But, you know, he with us. He's comfortable with us. So, you know, he, he's being himself and he's making calls and, you know, just doing what he had to do to be a better, you know, player on the team. That's obviously big for him in his career, but also for that second cornerback spot, like you've been saying. It had been a revolving door for the world. Yeah. It's nice to have the same guy in every... Exactly. No, it was just the same guy. But, you know, things happen to the next man up, you know, that type of stuff. But I feel like we all on the same page when it comes to just knowing what's going on and seeing what's going on and then making a the call. You were pretty honest last year about not being happy with your August performance. Or, right. you know, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it's been a big change this year. I mean, we're seeing obviously some production in August from you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just just going out there and being free, you know, mind free, you know, everything. Uh, you know, last year, just trying to know too much and wasn't playing fast, wasn't playing how I play. But um, this year, you know, I just just let it go. I, I make calls. I know what's going on, but I don't think too much while I'm, you know, playing. So I think that that's really what it is, just being free. And I think that's what that's what helped me play better than uh, last year. Any other changes you made this offseason to make sure you got uh, no, just, that just, just working, working hard, man. The offseason grind, you know, that that's a big thing. I was out of Miami with Vaughn, uh, Eli, Roby, and, uh, AK. You know, we were just all out of Miami just getting the work in. You know, I think that helped a lot too, just the off season. But um, just working on my craft and just things like that, that helped. Now, me. now that you're done playing for the preseason, are we allowed to ask you about? You got DeAndre Hopkins circled in week one. That's a pretty good way to start it. Huh? Yeah, great way. You know, they always put us with the toughest game. I'm ready though. I'm, I'm not worried about it. So you know, I got much respect for his game. But you know, we got to go out there and battle. The best man win. Is he? I mean, has he? Become. I mean, I know there's. We could ask you this 11 times during a season, but has he become one of the guys in this league? Oh, DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. I think he's been one of those guys yeah. in the league. Him, AB, Mike, uh, Julio. All of them is uh, like one A, one B, one C. You know, type of like whatever you're looking for. You know, you can get it out of them. But like I said, you know, we we got to get get the work in, and we're gonna see who wins. You talk about trying not to think too much. What causes you or somebody to do that? Like, is it just trying to be too perfect? Try, I mean, this is really trying to grow mentally, but really, like, you 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 really blocking yourself from like 
like just knowing everything because you, you, your mind is always racing about, oh, should I be here? Should I do this, do that? Or you just go out there and play, you know, just get that out your mind, just go out there and play and do what you as coach would do. You know, that's really it. And it's just play off your, your instincts, your ability. So I think that's what, um, that's how I like to play. You know, I don't know about nobody else. Of course, you got to know what the receiver doing and all that type of stuff. But you, you got to think about it, see what he's doing, then get down to play. Like last year, I was just thinking about it too much, like during the play, like before the play started type of stuff. So not my mind's like clear before the play.